So now we've got an OAWRX here. We're going to show you how to step-by-step -step install the synchronic law valve on the car so that you know exactly what you need to do to take the parts out of the box and get it installed. To install your synchronic law valve, you start by taking off the factory bracket and the factory diverter valve on the 08 Subaru WRX. To remove these 12 millimeter bolts that hold the bracket in place. You move this hose out of the way for now, temporarily. You remove the vacuum line for the diverter valve. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolts that hold the diverter valve in place. Now you've got the diverter valve out. You'll need a pair of pliers to remove the hose clamp. And you simply wiggle out the factory diverter valve. You remove your hose clamp. Now take your Synapse blow off valve. Install your flange for the WRX. Install your set screws. Locate the blow off valve by leaving on the inch and a quarter recirc fitting like that. Put in place the bolts to hold it in place temporarily. Because what we will do is we will mount the blow off valve and we will take it off again. Tighten down the flange. so we can properly locate the blow-off valve. And what you'll notice is the blow-off valve is really close to uh, your brake master right there. And so what we want to do is just a couple little tricks for positioning. We want to rotate the blow-off valve, so leave the set screws uh, a little bit loose so that you can rotate the blow-off valve. Rotate the blow-off valve and then you take your research hose and you simply rotate it around to the position so that it keeps the blow-off valve in line. And then what we do is we take our Allen key, and we just tighten down the blow-off valve so that we have the proper clocking. And then we will have proper clearance back here for the vacuum fittings. So now you have to use a worm clamp instead of the stock clamp. Take your synchronic blow-off valve, just massage it in place into the recirc. And what we want to do is we want to remount the blow-off valve now that we've tightened down all the set screws. Once you've got that tightened up, the next thing we have to work on is the vacuum hoses. Since the hose is so large, you'll have to get an adapter to reduce that down into the size that needs to go into the back of the synchronic blow off valve. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a Boost Connect line of fittings, and it's the perfect OD for the ID of the stock hose. Just get it installed in there. We're going to put a clamp on there later. And the Boost Connect line slides right on to the back of the blow off valve. One thing that's different about the synchronic blow off valve is that you do have to find a boost only line for the third port on the blow off valve. And just to show you where you get boost only on a WRX or actually most factory turbo cars, what you do is you go find the internal wastegate, which is this canister right here. And then you just take the port that goes to the internal wastegate and you tee it off and you take that line and put it to the side port of the blow-off valve. What you don't want to do is go after the boost control solenoid. So you want to go and tap the line that goes straight to the wastegate.